Well, it seems there's no end in sight to Joe Biden's fleecing of the American taxpayer. He made another announcement yesterday that he's sending more aid to Ukraine. But this time, it's not military aid. Oh, no. It's money just to take care of their everyday things, if you will. This man needs to be removed from office immediately or our country will be bankrupt. Yeah, so yesterday, Sleepy Joe took the presidential podium and made another announcement to the American taxpayer that he is using more U.S. tax dollars and sending them to Ukraine. But this time, oh no, it's not military assistance. It's not tanks. Nope. He's sending money to Ukraine to help fund pensions, social programs, all of this while he refused federal aid to East Palestine, Ohio, after the toxic chemical spill and the toxic chemical burn that the authorities lit themselves. And his explanation for not sending federal assistance to Ohio is basically that it's not a natural disaster. I said all along, he could care less about those people. His transportation secretary, Mayor Pete, could care less. The EPA director, he paid a visit, but he doesn't care either. But what they do care about is sending millions and millions more of our taxpayer money to a foreign country just to take care of their basic needs. Watch this quick announcement that he made that made my stomach turn after I heard it. And they'll deliver much needed humanitarian assistance as well as food, water, medicine, shelter, and other aid to Ukrainians displaced by Russia's war and provide aid for those seeking refuge in other countries from Ukraine. <clears throat> it's also going to help schools and hospitals open. It's going to allow pensions and social support to be paid to the Ukrainian people so they have something, something in their pocket. It's also going to provide critical resources to address food shortages around the globe. And he said it so proud. He's so proud and so happy that he has sent billions of dollars of our money to fight a war that has nothing to do with us. He sent billions of dollars worth of military equipment. And I'm pretty certain that we have U.S. troops on the ground there training those troops to operate the high-tech tanks that Biden gave them. Okay, He's weakening our military at home every single day by giving Vlad all of our equipment and money. And all of this to make sure his crackhead son doesn't go to prison for all his illegal dealings with Zelensky. We all know that's true. It was all in the laptop. Hunter Biden was making millions with Zelensky, dealing with God knows what. I did hear they had some secretive laboratories there. Who knows what they were doing? It's just speculation. But knowing Joe and knowing Hunter, you know it had to be something bad. Because after all, they're criminals, right? So again, he's sending more and more and more of the American taxpayers' dollars to Zelensky just to keep his kid out of prison. He said, and you heard him, but I'm going to repeat it, and I quote, this will deliver much-needed humanitarian assistance, such as food, water, medicine, shelter, and other aid to the Ukrainians displaced by Russia's war. And it's going to provide aid to those seeking refuge in other countries. So now the American citizen is going to pay for illegal people to go to another country. Okay. We not only have millions coming across our southern borders, 
Now Biden's going to pay for Ukrainian refugees to go wherever they want to go. It's coming out of our pockets. Then he goes on to say it's going to help schools open. Remember when he closed schools for two years because of his virus? It's going to open hospitals. And while the virus was kicking America's ass, our hospitals were begging for help. And Uncle Joe didn't care because he wanted to push his jabs. But the main thing of this announcement is what really made my stomach turn. It's going to allow pensions and social support to be paid to the Ukrainian people so they have something in their pocket. Are you friggin' kidding me right now? American workers are struggling every step of the way since this fool took office. He has destroyed our economy. He has destroyed jobs. Although he'll say, I created 12 million jobs. We all know within the last month or so, all the big tech that he loves to collude with so much are laying off thousands and thousands of workers. Google, Facebook, Amazon, Meta, Twitter, you name it. They're laying off thousands of people. Why? Because even the big tech, who again, Joe loves so much, they can't afford to keep these people because our economy is trash. Our inflation is through the roof. He'll say that it was high before he took office, but right now it's historically high and that's Joe Biden's fault, okay? But he wants to make sure that the Ukrainian people have pensions and social support just to have something in their pocket. Well, I'll tell you a quick story. I've been a state employee for almost 28 years, I could have retired in a little more than a year with a halfway decent pension. But our wonderful ex-governor, who is now Joe Biden's Commerce Secretary, Gina the Criminal Raimondo, she had this big idea for pension reform. And what her pension reform did was make her and her insider people millions of dollars and basically told the rest of the state workers, you're on your own. You're going to have to stay at work until you're at least 70 years old. And you're lucky if you get 40% of your highest annual salary and will still have to pay for health care. Again, this is Biden's commerce secretary who did this to the state she supposedly loved. She made millions and her cronies made millions and her husband made millions on medical marijuana because they had certain laws in place that made sure he had no competition. So now she's doing that, basically fleecing America also by being the Commerce Secretary, not bringing corporations to the United States. No, she's outsourcing everything. We all know it. It's online. Look it up. But they have no problem whatsoever that the American taxpayers are suffering. People are hurting. They're losing jobs. And a lot of people don't even have a pension. Again, I used to have one, and now... I'm lucky if I get 40%, which is basically below welfare wages. I'll be living in a van down by the river because of Joe Biden, his commerce secretary, and because he's insistent on bankrupting our country to keep his crackhead son out of prison. And I'll mention it one more time. He refused federal aid to the small town of East Palestine, Ohio, because it wasn't a natural disaster. While the authorities there burned off the toxic chemicals, 
they created the gigantic mushroom cloud that's now all those toxins are in the air now floating all over the country they poisoned their water and they did all that just to clear the tracks so the billionaire railroad owners could keep making money by moving their trains he does not care about this country not one single bit i don't understand why people are not up in arms about this that this man is insistent on bankrupting us to take care of a foreign country just because his criminal son was involved with the president over there because that's what this is all about pensions social support food shortages we have all that here americans need pensions need social support need food we're having the shortages but he's worried about ukraine because if he doesn't give zelensky what he wants zelensky's gonna drop the dime and make sure his kid goes to prison for the rest of his life that's what this is about it's an absolute disgrace and it's a kick in the ass to every hard-working american that this is going on we are suffering because joe biden is a failure an absolute failure and his criminal enterprise needs to keep going to keep the crackhead and joe and his brother and his sister and whoever else he was involved with they all want to stay out of prison and that's why all of our money is going to zelensky because he has all the information on hunter biden and uncle joe knows it so we're going to be broke while zelensky continues to live in a mansion and walk around with green on like he's actually fighting a war which he's not okay this is disgusting and it needs to stop and american taxpayers need to stand up and fight this congress they don't seem to care republicans don't care all they want to do is have hearings on the laptop how about this fuck the laptop for now stop this fool from bankrupting our country to keep his criminal kid out of prison and that's it thanks for tuning in if you haven't liked this video please hit that like button subscribe to this channel and share this video if you will i'd appreciate that hope everybody's healthy and safe have a great night i'll see you soon